welcome to today's video. I am here to unbox the uh, Stampin' Up! Paper Pumpkin kit hugs from Shelley. This is the first time we've had Paper Pumpkin in the UK, so we're all very excited. I am particularly very excited. Um, I must admit I've had a sneak peek on another demos um, video, so oh, it's sealed here, so I just need to snip that open. So let's see. Okay. Okay. So what have we got? We have got. Um, let me straighten that up for you. We've got the stamp set. Can you see that? Oh no. When we we did have a little go at this in our on stage in uh, Telford in April, but we only had a mini version of this um, stamp set. So when I was advertising this. I did tell people it's a mini stamp set, but actually it's not. It's a full-blown stamp set. There's quite a few. Would we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, I can't even remember. Did it count 14 or 15? Anyway, more than I thought. So we have that. We have an early espresso ink spot. And in here we will have the kit in some beautiful tissue paper, which you know I'm going to keep that for something. And here is the kit. So that's the one that you've probably all seen. So I'm not going to make that one for you. I'm going to make the other three. So let's get cracking. The box itself is really pretty. Really pretty. So let's uh, open this and see what we have. We always have um, instructions. But um, I will probably start posting other projects that I've made with the supplies um, once I've made one of everything. So that's all our embellishments. What do we have? We have some petal think twine. We have oh no! Oh, did you even see these? Oh, some gorgeous little metallic birds. Oh, they're very pretty. Um, more twine, and then some um, beautiful, I guess this is pretty peacock, is it? Um, ribbon, I might just, oh I have company, can you hear? He's told you to be very quiet, and now he's firing his gun at me. Um, I'm sure if some of you have those little ribbon irons this might be useful, but I'll just straighten this out for a few minutes. Okay, so that's that. And then we we have some beautiful, this is like a lovely blush rose gold champagne. I'm not sure what colour you would call that. Um, she not, they're very pretty. Okay, so then our card base. Oh no, these are the envelopes, are they? These are the envelopes. So a little note card size. Um, beautifully pre-printed envelopes and I'm sure yeah they're printed on the inside too so they're lovely so that's our envelopes and then these will be our card bases there's some more little um, floral embellishments so we have those are the ones you've seen already with the um, nest and then we have these lovely blue ones, little splatter newsprint style, and the floral ones. So let's see. I guess our instructions will be on this, will it? Yes, they are. Okay. So open up. Yep, pretty much there's all your um, sentiments. Uh, how we embellish them, how we add the ribbon, a um, little bit of the twine, and finally just putting it all together. So it's pretty self-explanatory really, we can almost just follow the pictures if we like. So let's make this one. Um, so I have one of each, so one of this, and one of that one and I'll leave the other one if I can find my uh, sample I won't show it to oh oh it's a little treasure pot this 
every time you uh, move you see something else. Right, let me see where would my dawn folder be. Hmm. I'll find that in a minute. Okay, so for these three I'm going to need the small need a large one, two large ones, is that right? Uh, no, one very large one, one medium, two medium one. Medium and then the little one. Now the, there is no block with this, um, so you will need um, a block. We are recommended the D block, which is this size. So that will be perfect for all your stamps. So this one, if I stick to the instructions, says, thank you, dear friend. So let's get the thank you ready. So I have, I'll stand up again, actually. I can line this up by placing my block um, on the grid paper and then following the lines and thank you and the dear friend is here actually do you know what I'm going to do I'm going to stamp my thank you first and then um, come back in and stamp the dear friend pretty close and then that should open up so we can this is a great way to build up your collection if you don't have um, the colours. So we're going to stamp the thank you. Kind of to one side. Oh, I think I might go again actually. I'm not sure I've got that properly on. Okay, so a bit to one side. And then I'll go back in with the dear friend. Again, I'll try and line that up. No, I'll be in. I know. We've just had a bee join us. Oh, I've got to use my ink spot. I'm going to bring you my candy with. Okay, so if you put the deer on, oh, I think I don't have that quite straight. Just move that. So we'll have deer on either side of the Y. So the deer one side, what the friend the other side. Okay. Now. We need two little pieces of the ribbon. Oh gosh, I've got ink on my hand, not great. So putting that there and two pieces of ribbon. We cut them at a slight angle. Well, I am sure, oh yes I did. I did see uh, glue dots. So, from this we have got, oh I love those birds. Some mini dimensionals and some glue dots. So we can really stick these down with the glue dots. Don't take the tops off them. Three and four. Okay. In the absence of my uh, bone folder which actually is sitting right in front of me now I can see it. Piece here, second piece on top, Then we're gonna have oh we've got, oh little flower I didn't see that uh, where's my stamp set gone here so that flower oh on either side oh I've done that before mm. 
Normally if I'd spotted that, I should have done that before I stuck my ribbon down. So we have a little floral, beautiful little, that's a lovely little stamp actually. So let's make that. Back down you go. And we'll do that that way. Try not to stamp on the glue dot, so that would be a bit of a disaster. So back down you go. Then, yeah, maybe another piece, another glue dot, where are we? Luckily with these kits you you get more than enough, which is just as well. You have people that don't read the instructions and they're just going um, steaming along, following pictures and then realising they've missed bits. <laughs> okay, so then we've got my thank you dear friend <laughs> and I'll put some dimensionals, I'm sure that's dimensionals, it's on the back. for luck. Okay. Oh. It's a very fitting um, sign track, if you like, for this uh, kit because you can hear all the birds in the background. So, go there. Be there. Okay. And then the little blue flowers. Are these are these self adhesive or not? No, they're not. Um so I could use the glue dots again for these. Um I shall put of glue dots there and we'll go down here with those hold on there's some thread hmm maybe another glue dot over here and then we shall loop a little bit of thread around hope this is all going on shot I've kind of forgotten to look Just uh, I need another glue dot. Just in the center. Sorry, I might have shot. Okay. I'm thinking that isn't quite straight. Yeah. So I might put that over there, which is not as per the picture, but my loops are a bit loopy on the wrong side. So there's number one. Now, which one is this one? This one is, okay, so that's hello, friend. I don't need any stamping apart from that, nope. So, so hello. And this is on one of the smaller, um, sorry, this little tag. This way. Gonna have it more to the right. Now the friend is going to be from the dear friend, so I just need to clean that off. I'm only going to ink up. 
let's put it on the other side the friend and not the dear so <gasps> oh that was lucky it fell not ink side up <laughs> no not ink side down even so I'm just inking up the friend, which as I said, was I was trying to say before I dropped my ink spot, it's quite easy with an ink spot to um, uh, isolate a word that you want. So there we go. Hello, friend. Now, because these are photopolymer, I'm using this um, mat. You can buy one of these from Stamping Up, but if you do not have one, you can also use um, a mouse mat. Something just to give a little bit of extra support and cushioning um, to your stamp. Because normal red rubber stamps, if you see this one that I have mounted, there is that inbuilt cushion, if you like. Can you see that? Oh, where's my camera there? But when you have the photopolymer stamps, it's purely the stamp itself. So you need just a little bit of extra cushioning. But um, these are quite handy. I also use them occasionally if I'm paper piercing. But um, as I said, the, a mouse mat, if you don't have one, will suffice until you um, get one for this purpose. So I am tying a bow with this. Um, it's quite a lovely little... Um, you call that fabric um you know, I can't think what the name of it is I'm gonna say it's just like that but since I can't remember the name of it that's a bit of a useless um, analogy okay so this is a little I don't know if it does fray but it'll fray at the end so I'm just going to get rid of that and we shuffle it down a bit shuffle it over a bit um, so that that goes underneath we're going to put our little birdie there, maybe. Actually, no, I'll um, pop this up on dimensionals. Not sure if it is or not. They're probably, I should really look at the actual instructions, shouldn't I? So I'll put that there. dots are here and let's go here our little bird put him under or her maybe under this oh that's really sweet I love those little birds Okay, so now we have two. Oh, that really cute. Okay, and finally, and this was my favorite. I love the card base. Um, it's like a newspaper print with some sludges and grateful for you on the medium. Let's ink that up. central oh I think that might be slightly um, yeah a little bit skew if but never mind and the for you is here I'm kind of making more work for myself, really, but it's just because I want the letters to um, appear either side of the um, script. I do love a um, mixture of fonts. So grateful for you, and let's put that either side. And of course, I'm probably going to have for you straight and grateful crooked. Mm, not too noticeable. Okay, so for this one... We just need a length of ribbon. So I have a snail here. I'm just going to use that. Because I'm being a little lazy. Okay. 
gone a little bit too wide with this ribbon. I'm going to tie a ribbon on this. Tie a sorry, tie a bow. And this we're going wrapping up round twice. Actually, probably don't really even need glue at all for this. So you need your um, wrapping the ribbon over it. these things up because I think it's rather painful watching me do this in slow motion. I was scrapbooking yesterday so my desk looks like a bomb has hit it. Um, so you would not want me to be panning around and showing you the rest. Actually that's a wee bit too loose. So we are, I think I will, because my bow is a little loose, so it would help bump it out a bit if I used the um, dimensional. <laughs> then this gorgeous, where are they? Oh, these are really pretty, some vellum um, feathers. Actually, the vellum is quite a strong vellum, luckily, so... Oh, I love that. I'm to go down low enough so um, it's contained within the envelope. I think my bow might be a little over the top. Okay, I'll trim off a little bit of that. There you go. So we've got that one, which will go with one of the beautiful um, blue shaded cards. Then we have this one, which will match the lovely pink shade. Another blue one. And finally, the one that you've probably seen several times already. That oh yeah, will match with the pink shaded card. So that's our paper pumpkin kit. You have then supplies to make 12 in all. So three, um, three of each, and you will have supplies left over. And best of all, you will have this gorgeous stamp kit um, left over. It's a lovely floral. Look at that bird. Oh, did I miss stamping a bird? I'm sure there was a, oh, look at that. I did, I missed stamping the bird on this. Let's do that quickly. Oh, he's low too. Right, where is this bird? Okay. I'm not going to probably have room to stamp as many birds as the <laughs> example shows. But, um, yeah, I can't let that go without a bird. So, let's see. I'm going to stamp off the edge. So, I'm going to just... Um, Just place this mat under my um, scrap paper. So we'll do one here. Uh, oh my goodness, there's two birds. Oh, I'm silly. Well, okay, well, these are really pretty. Okay, so there's one there. And if I have room, I'll try and stamp the bird mid-flight. Oh, I can't believe I didn't notice that. So will I have room for this one? 
Where can I squeeze him in? Eh, just about, maybe. Can I move that? No, better not. Okay, well, we're not going to get the full bird in for the full effect, but you get the picture. There. Do you know what? Oh no, maybe not. Okay. Oh, silly. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> there are our four um, cards. So the two blue shaded ones and the two pink ones. So I hope you enjoyed that. And we do, these are being sold on a, a Wild Stocks last basis, but um, we still have stock as I make this on Tuesday the 21st of May. So if you would like to get your own kit, um, I will be posting some other ideas um, for what to do with stamps presently. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna have a little play this afternoon. But if you would like to get this kit, you are very welcome to shop with me. The link will be below. Um, include the um, Rainbow Rewards shopping code for May and I'll be sure to send you a little extra gift in the post directly from me. Until next time, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.